and welcome to episode 6 of IoT Unbox. Today we'll be talking about smart water quality monitoring specifically for swimming pools and water tanks. And for that I have Miss Fatima joining us today. Thank you very much again for being with us Miss Fatima. Thank you so much for having me here. Pleasure. All right. So, um, tell us more about smart water quality monitoring and how does it differ from conventional ways of monitoring water quality? Of course, within the confines of swimming pool monitoring and also what like water tanks. Yes. So uh, water quality parameters. So it is undoubtedly sure that, that the parameters has to be continuously monitored because there are parameters like temperature, pH, which are sensitive parameters, which will require a continuous uh, monitoring. So conventionally, how we are doing it is there will be a guard with, who is monitoring your uh, pool mm -hmm. or water tank and will be taking a, a quantity, some quantity of water and will be sending mm -hmm. to the laboratories and uh, checking, analyzing what is the parameter levels and all and will be uh, creating a report ac accordingly. So that's the conventional param uh, way of doing uh, the testing. Okay, so. Uh, this will uh, require a lot of time, uh, a lot of human effort, and there are chances of human errors as well. So in this case, there is required for having an IoT sensor to avoid these kind of scenarios, like uh, that even if, if it is a time gap or uh, even if it is a human errors that could possibly occur due to the human interventions. So that's where the importance of IoT sensor is arriving for water quality monitoring. Okay, so from my understanding, it's it's also about um, operational efficiency, right? Because there is certain amount of time required to do this where they need to collect the sample. Yes. And if I remember correctly, apart from mm -hmm. sending the samples to maybe a lab, I what I recently see is they, they have this small suitcase as well with test them where they yeah. have uh, it's a test kit right yeah. and that they take that water sample they mix it with certain exactly. things and then they compare the color exactly. of the liquid and that's how they have an indication about let's say pH and exactly. certain parameters correct yeah okay and uh, of course time consuming exactly. right which is which is a problem if you're thinking about large-scale operations mm -hmm. and also this will not get you constant reading exactly right if if i understand mm -hmm. so with iot with smart water quality monitoring you're saying that we can actually get continuous reading exactly. not just at one point of the day but mm -hmm. rather you get a continuous systematic reading multiple times exactly. during the day all right all right very good very good now this particular device is very interesting i see it comes with certain accessories so mm -hmm. how do you actually put this in a swimming pool or maybe in a in, in a water tank itself how yeah. does it work so there are different mounting options available for this particular sensor so if you are uh, putting it in your swimming pool actually what you can do is you can just remove this bottom cap and uh, replace it with the rubber cap so it can float on the water actually so you can even throw it on the water so it will float on the water oh so you just leave it there you, exactly you, you throw it in the pool it floats yes. around and, yes, and then yes okay. and even if you want to tie it uh, to the handle of the uh, pool you can just do that so it won't float away and there are an uh, there is another method using these clamps like for example for s some water tanks maybe it is covered that you can cannot easily put the the sensor itself on the water mm -hmm. so what you can do is you can install this device within this water supply pipe okay? okay so you will just replace with the cam uh, clamps with the bottom of this uh, pool device and you will just install it on the pipe so what it will do is it will just uh, do the same thing uh, it will monitor the parameters there are actually seven different parameters that it can monitor mm -hmm. so all of these parameters you, you will get it on the platform and you can analyze the data okay so so if i understand again mm -hmm. you could either just drop it within the swimming pool or install it within the pipeline yeah. so through the flowing water it'll just measure the, yes. the parameters okay you mentioned seven or a few different parameters yes. right why are all, are all of them important 
what, what's necessary can you tell us more a little bit about these parameters of course uh, the seven parameters that i mentioned are temperature ph salinity conductivity tds o, uh, orp and uh, free chlorine mm -hmm. so these are the seven parameters that it can monitor so some of the parameters are directly getting from the sensors and some are, are also ai based calculations so uh, of course all of these parameters are very important uh, for example, if I'm taking a uh, pH level itself, so there are chances like for, for example, if there is any fluctuations in the pH level of the water, there are chances of corrosion in the tiles of the water uh, swimming pools or there are chances of corrosion in the mechanical system or pumps or even the ladders of the swimming pool. So also there are ORP level, uh, TDS level, which can actually cause uh, infections to the people who are actually uh, swimming in the water so there are uh, these parameters all of these parameters are important to be uh, monitored uh, in a regular basis mm -hmm. in order to prevent any uh, further uh, causes okay so yeah. so here we're talking about corrosion so yeah. that's directly related to the asset whether it's a pool or a tank exactly. so so if we're not properly maintaining the water quality mm -hmm. then we are deteriorating the yes. lifetime of the asset right exactly i see it. i see and and also you sp you spoke about certain health implication exactly. over there I, I believe you 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 were mostly implying mm. let's say um itchiness or something because if the water is not clean mm. right you can get rashes you exactly. feel itchy or i don't know maybe maybe of course if if the water itself is not clean then exactly. it would be a health hazard right yes yes okay great great now you spoke earlier in brief um in passing i mean uh, about the platform uh, mm -hmm. aspect of it yeah. so how does the platform kind of come into play mm -hmm. how is it important how does it, it actually assist in being part of the smart water quality monitoring solution okay so in the platform what you can get is you will get a regular uh, readings for from the sensor all of these seven parameters you will get it uh, every one hour from the platform and so what you can do is you can uh, maintain a predefined threshold so whenever the water levels or the parameter level is going above that particular threshold mm -hmm. you can raise an alert so you can predefine that levels from the platform side itself uh, also these alarms can be notified in your emails whatsapp like that and even if you want to analyze the data from your different pools and even if you want to create reports to get it on your emails that is also possible from the platform side mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so so here we're talking about real-time monitoring exactly right so rather than waiting to know about the condition of my swimming mm -hmm. pool only after i've sent the water samples maybe to a lab or after it's been analyzed by um, maybe an inspector or mm -hmm. the lifeguard like like you've mentioned yes, right yes um, I will be able to instantaneously know mm -hmm. because I have thresholds on the platform so yeah. I know that hey something's wrong and yes. I can take action immediately mm -hmm. right and of course um, because I receive continuous reading the platform stores that information mm -hmm. so I get pretty good historical ana analytics about about my data about the quality of water in the mm -hmm. swimming pool right yes all right lovely lovely thank you very much Miss Fatima again it's it's a very informative session I hope it is the same for our viewers and of course for all things related to iot stay tuned and do like and subscribe and share our content thank you very much